Good afternoon, and welcome to St. Patrick's Cathedral. To our guests visiting but not attending Mass today, we ask that you please be reverential and respectful of the solemnity of the sacred service while you enjoy your visit. Today is Monday of the fifth week of Easter and the memorial of St. Bernardine of Siena, priest. Psalm responses can be found on page 64 in your Missalette. Our celebrant is Monsignor Robert Ritchie, rector of St. Patrick's, Mother's Day Novena with Father King, can celebrating Father Matthew McDonald, Church of St. Kateria Tekawitha from LaGrangeville, New York. This Mass is offered for Arinda and Joseph Giacchetti. Please stand. Please join us in singing our opening hymn, which can be found in the One Faith Hymnal, number 696, Love Divine, All Loves Excelling, number 696. Love's divine. remember uh, my sister-in-law, uh, her name is Catherine Ritchie. She had a massive heart attack over the weekend, so, and she needs all the prayers that she can get. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My sisters, my brothers, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who gave the priest, St. Bernardine of Siena, a great love for the holy name of Jesus, grant through his merits and prayers that we may ever be set aflame with the spirit of your love. Through Christ our Lord. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. There was an attempt in Iconium by both the Gentiles and the Jews, together with their leaders, to attack and stone Paul and Barnabas. They realized it and fled to the Lyconian city of Lystra and Derbe and to the surrounding countryside where they continued to proclaim the good news. At Lystra there was a crippled man, lame from birth, who had never walked. He listened to Paul speaking, who looked intently at him, saw that he had the faith to be healed, and called out in a loud voice, stand up straight on your feet. He jumped up and began to walk about. When the crowd saw what Paul had done, they cried out in Lyconian, the gods have come down to us in human form. They called Barnabas Zeus 
and Paul Hermes, because he was the chief speaker. And the priest of Zeus, whose temple was at the entrance to the city, brought oxen and garlands to the gates, for he together with the people intended to offer sacrifice. The apostles Barnabas and Paul tore their garments when they heard this and rushed out into the crowd, shouting, Men, why are you doing this? We are of the same nature as you, human beings. We proclaim to you good news, that you should turn from these idols to the living God, who made heaven and earth and sea and all that is in them. In past generations, he allowed all Gentiles to go their own ways. Yet in bestowing his goodness, he did not leave himself without witness, for he gave you rains from heaven and fruitful seasons, and filled you with nourishment and gladness for your hearts. Even with these words, they scarcely restrained the crowds from offering sacrifice to them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory. Because of your mercy, because of your truth. Why should the pagans say, where is their God? Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Our God is in heaven. Whatever he wills, he does. Their idols are silver and gold, the handiwork of men. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. May you be blessed by the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Heaven is the heaven of the Lord, but the earth he has given to the children of men. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. Whoever loves me will be loved by my father and I will love him and reveal myself to him. Judas, not the Iscariot, said to him, master then what happened that you will reveal yourself to us and not to the world. Jesus answered and said to him, whoever loves me will keep my word and my father will love him and we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words. Yet the word you hear is not mine, but that of the father who sent me. I have told you this while I am with you the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Today is the feast of St. Bernadine of Siena. And if you're somebody who works in advertising, today is your holy day. Today is. Uh, he's the patron saint of advertisers. So uh, if you know anybody over on Madison Avenue today, it's a great day to say St. Bernardine is important to you. If you look up in the, in the crossing, the ceiling here at St. Patrick's, 
um, there is a, a, a symbol that many people have asked me over the years, well, Father, what does that mean up there? Um, and it, it's hard to, to see, well, not so much hard to see, but uh, it's, it depends on your perspective, whether you're looking at it from here or from back there to see what it says. But what it says are three letters, I-H-S. And very often you'll see those letters in a, in a lot of uh, Catholic uh, iconography in, in churches and in designs. Um, the Jesuits, um, their seal for the symbol for the Jesuits is exactly that IHS in, a, in like in a, in a sunburst um, uh, milieu. Uh, even Pope Francis, if you see his coat of arms, it's exactly the same thing IHS in the, with the sun bursting um, behind it. And it's a very simple but very important part of Christian, especially Catholic iconography. Uh, it looks like IHS, but in fact, it's three Greek letters, uh, Iota, Eta, and Sigma. And they look, when they're written down in Greek, they look just like the English ones. But they're, they're the first three letters of the name Jesus um, in Greek. So he has about four more letters to make up the whole name of Jesus. But St. Bernadine used this icon, this symbol of, of Jesus, to preach to the people of, of Europe, um, to explain to them the very important uh, notion that the name of Jesus is sacred. It, it's something that's not to be taken lightly. It's not something to use as a curse. It's not something to come off our lips when we hit our finger or, or something bad happens to us. Uh, it's something that uh, many people in modern times, we, we forget that the name Jesus is a, is, is a sacred name. Now, we're used to talk, talking about Jesus in church. We preach about him. We uh, have him as the model of our lives. But sometimes we forget that when we misuse the name of God, whether it's God or whether it's Jesus or one of the other uh, attributes of what God is all about, uh, we're doing something that's not, it's not what God wants. Uh, to use the name of Jesus in a, in a, in a way of uh, exclamation uh, doesn't really fit in with what it's, it's all about. And so every year on this feast day, I always talk about St. Bernadine and the great effect that he had. Uh, if you have ever been a member of a, a society called the Holy Name Society, it's, uh, it's a society that was set up because of the preaching of this man in different parts of, uh, parts of the world. Just yesterday, we had a, um, a meeting of the Holy Name Society of the, metal wor of the uh, le Electrical Workers Union. And that's, that concept of the importance of the name Jesus is something that they understand. Uh, the police department, the fire department, and other uniformed um, departments in New York City all have holy name societies. Uh, and I think many times uh, the members of the society don't realize what it's all about. But it's, it's all about IHS, uh, the first three letters of, Jesus, of the name Jesus. So when you think about it, uh, and certainly it's a great thing to think about. Do I keep that name sacred? Um, do I sometimes use it inappropriately? Uh, well, today is a good day to, to look at ourselves and see if we do that. Because m many people who are very, very good forget and they say the, the name of Jesus in a way that they shouldn't be saying. They're not bad people. They're not terrible sinners. But it's something that we should remind ourselves of um, every now and then, especially on this feast day of St. Bernadine. Uh, the first letters, the name Jesus is a sacred name. It's a holy name. It should be part of our speaking holy things rather than imprecations or other not so holy things. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis. We pray for our shepherd, Cardinal Dolan, that God bless them and guide them. We pray to the Lord. We pray for teachers who are coming to the end of this school year and for their students who are looking forward to the summer, that God may bless them and protect them during their off months. We pray to the Lord. 
We pray for those who are graduating, those who were here from St. Patrick's Cathedral and those who are graduating in our families, that God may bless them and give them a good future. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those who are hospitalized, uh, members of our family. We pray especially for Catherine Ritchie and people that we know and love that are hospitalized now. We pray to the Lord. And for those who work for the defense of human life, those who work for peace and for justice, that God may bless their labors, we pray to the Lord. And in the silence of our own hearts, let each of us add our own particular intention. We pray to the Lord. O oh Lord our God, we ask you to listen to our prayers. We bring them to you in the name of Jesus, our brother and savior, who is with you as God forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in us the name of Christ, who humbled himself to share. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash away my tears. My sisters and brothers, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept his sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May your right hand, O Lord, we pray, encompass your family with perpetual help, so that defended from all wickedness by the resurrection of your only begotten Son, we may make our way by means of your heavenly gifts through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times, to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment and the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, 
for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Orinda and Joseph, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, man. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter onto my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Our communion hymn is number 476, Ye Sons and Daughters, number 476. Let us pray. By the power of this mystery, O Lord, confirm your servants in their true faith, that they may everywhere profess in word and deed the faith for which blessed Bernadine never ceased to labor and for which he spent his whole life. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Have a great day, everybody. Our closing hymn is number 484, Alleluia, Alleluia, number 484.